Merhaba JT Score kendimize tekrar Hoş geldiniz ee, Evet arkadaşlar bugün Denmark Sar or Turkey Sarhoş olduk Which, which country is better Ana tepki veriyoruz ee, Gerçekten Hangi ülke daha iyi yani Yani bir ülke başka ülkeden daha iyi falan düşünmüyorum Sadece e, Tepki veriyoruz sen, Yani senin Beğendiğiniz şeylere göre yani bir ülke daha iyi tercih edebilirsiniz yani. Aynen. Ee, yani sen çok yani e, nasıl diyeceğim şimdi? Yani çok doğal bir şeyler yani görmek seviyorsan başka bir ülke tercih edebilirsiniz ya da başka bir yani şey göre değişiyor yani anladınız mı? Yani bu ülke bu ülkeden daha iyi falan öyle bir şey yok. O yüzden buna tepki veriyoruz yani bakalım neyler var Denmark'ta ve Türkiye'de neyler var. O yüzden arkadaşlar lütfen abone ol, paylaş bilgisayarlarına takip edebilirsiniz, yorum yazabilirsiniz ve e, videoya girelim. ...that are different by culture and size, but are also separated by a 28 hour Istanbul. drive or over 26 eyes, but are also separated by Istanbul. drive or over 26,000 kilometers from the capitals of Denmark and Turkey. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome Istanbul. back to FTD yeah. Facts, the channel where we talk about people, cultures, and places from all around the world. Now... I'm Dave Wappel, and today we are going to look at Turkey, and we are going to look at Denmark. Now, like I was saying, on this channel, we sometimes look at countries that are generally, like, right beside each other. But for this video, these guys are separated so far apart, and we got to find out yeah, what is that, similar and yani, different about these. Evet, Denmark, Turkey, çok uzak yani. Baya baya. True great nations. Now, with that in mind, guys, I want to know what is your favorite thing about your country. Let me know down there in the comment section below, but let's get started, shall we? So let's first start off looking at Denmark. Now, it's got a population of 5,748,760. Really? Çok az, yeah. Çok az. 15 times. Turkey is like 15 times. 59 people, yeah, approximately, 15. ranking 12th in the no, world 16. with a population density of 133 yeah. people, 0.9 per square kilometer. Now, as for its land size of Denmark, it gets a little complex because there's many different factors. First of all, for its main land size, it's about 42,931 kilometers square, ranking 160th yeah. in the world. But if you incorporate Faroe yeah, really Island, which is 1,393.4 kilometers Ooh. square, and Greenland, which is 2,166,000. 86 kilometers square. Greenland. 2 million kilometers. The total land size of everything that Denmark owns equals 2 million 210,410. Greenland. Greenland Shining Year. Denmark. Denmark. Year. Vikings. Vikings. Denmark. Square. Making it one huge country. It's big. But there's not a lot of people there, so they got a small population density. But moving right along to Turkey, if you were to look at it, its population is a lot bigger with 82,835,090 people. Again, that's just an approximate, but they sit at 16th in the world when it comes to their population size. Now, as for the population density, they have approximately 102 people per square kilometer, <laughs> ranking 107th. And if you were to put those people on all of its lands, it totals 783,356 oh, kilometers. Wow. Wow. Ranking 36th in the world, and approximately 1.3% of that is water. Now, when we talk about population, I do want to mention that we also do talk about the militaries of these two countries. But for this video, we aren't going to get into that. If you guys want to, well, I'll put a card right here right now for you guys to click on. But realistically, you should just wait till the end of the video because I'll also give you a link to that as well. Because right now, let's talk about economy. Well, in Denmark, they use the Danish krone. And comparing that to the U.S. dollar... Oh, I, I just... I, 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 I thought euros. euro. I just dream about it, really. Most... Um, most European countries don't like Switzerland. They have their own money, Swiss franc, um, Denmark, the Danish kron. Uh, yeah, Swedish kron. Dollar one U.S. dollar equals no, no, six point zero. Denmark is Swedish kron. Danish kron. Sweden uses um, Swedish kron. Zero one DKK. Now, as for Turkey, they use the Turkish lira, and which it's... one U.S. dollar equals three point zero. Ne zaman bu video ne zaman be? Ah, 
Oha, Oha. 18. Oha. Şimdi bir dolar 8 lira ya. Ha. An 8 TR wise. Now if we were to compare 1 TR Y, it would equal 1.59 DKK. And now just that because way. one dollar is yeah, that's Turkish was better than that was 2018. We don't stronger than the other. It doesn't mean that their economy is better or worse. There's a lot of things to keep in mind, such as GDP. Now for GDP, we're going to look at the purchasing power parity course, because that's the best way to compare nations. Now the PPP Denmark. GDP of Denmark Wait is GDP 5.468 billion dollars, ranking 52nd like yeah. in the world. Yeah. Now it's GDP per capita equals 49,613 yeah. dollars. And to break that down even further, let's look at imports and exports. What is great about these nations of what they sell and buy. For the exports of Denmark, they sit at $82 billion, being 31st in the world. Now, 3.8% of that is electronic generating sets. 3.2% of that is pig meat. Really? And 3.2% of that is also packaged medicaments, whatever the heck those things are. Now, as for the imports, it sits at $83 billion, being 29th in the world, with 4.8% of that being cars. Is this Tokyo they're talking about, or Denmark? Denmark. They export it to billion, they import it to you. 2.9% being refined petroleum and 2.8% of that Ooh. being packaged medicaments as well. But now if we look at Turkey, their imports and exports, their GDP is a lot more. For example, the GDP really? in Turkey is $2.249 trillion, trillion, ranking 13th in the, the world, GDP with a GDP low. per capita of $27,634. Yeah. Now of the exports, they equal $139 yeah. billion, dollars, ranking 25th, and the top percentages of those are car at six percent gold being five and knitted t-shirts being 2.1 percent but jumping over to 5.9 percent and knitted t-shirts being 2.1 percent but jumping over to its imports <laughs> they equal 188 <laughs> billion dollars being 18th in the world with 5.2 percent of that being cars 5.1 percent of that being unspecified and 3.9 percent being refined petroleum so that's great we've got gdp we've got economy we've got a lot of things but you know what let's keep in mind Sometimes things are just a little bit different. You know, the cost of bread in one country is different from the other. Yeah. So let's talk about living expenses of these two amazing countries. Uh, now, the cost of living in Turkey from Denmark would mean like that food is 59% cheaper, housing is 65% cheaper. Wait, in Turkey. Hmm? Turkey, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't think. Would mean that food is 59%. In okay, countries. In, in, now the cost of living in Turkey from Denmark. Exactly, like talking to to, to import any food, yeah. Kizaten kebab var, lamacun var, gez kender var, eşi var ya. Kokoreç sandwich. Şu dan. Mean that food is 59% cheaper, housing is 65% cheaper, clothes are. Ha, evet. Kibri standart yani daha çok pahalı yani, çok ucuz. Down by 3%. 3%. 3%. No, expensive more. Yeah. Sucking <laughs> cheaper. Transportation is also 38% cheaper. Really? With personal care being 43 and entertainment being 50% cheaper as well. In wow. total, living in Turkey is approximately 53% Ooh. cheaper than Denmark. Now, of course, you can't have money without looking at debt. Let's take a quick look at that as well. Now, for this, we are going to look at the national debt in U.S. dollars to compare the two. For the national debt of Denmark, it equals 123 billion, 200... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, I always hear about debts, yeah? Like, what are we mean? Like, we humans, what are we mean? I swear, if they, if they calculate all the debts, yeah? All the countries are we mean, you'd be like, okay, so who exactly? Maybe United <laughs> Nations. What are they doing? What are they doing? Where would they pay? I mean, if someone can like explain better, I really don't know. Genuinely, I want to know. Eighty-seven million three hundred sixteen thousand dollars. And the total debt per citizen equals roughly $21,784. And if you were to take that money and put it into single dollar bills and stack them on top of each other, it Sorry, would equal... this like um, toilets or houses of belief? Hmm. Maybe they are building something for this. 
for this bitch. They want to make it to a bitch or something. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Equal point zero four trips to the moon. Now, as for Turkey in U.S. Shit. dollars, they have two hundred thirty. Oh, do you this? We watched it. In this oh, guy's oh, in um, is it um, Cappadocia? No, it's not, not Cappadocia. It's the video of uh, Malin Becker. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, billion God. dollars, seven hundred and ninety million six hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars in debt. However, per citizen, that equals about two thousand eight hundred and eighty-one dollars, which is actually the lowest I've seen out of any of the countries that we've compared other countries to. However, in single-dollar bills, if you were to stack those on top of each other, it would equal 007 percent of the trip to the moon. So there you have it, guys. That is a look at the two countries, Turkey and Denmark, two countries that are very different from each other in culture and even economy. But we want to know what you thought. But well, my name is Dave Wapple, and I want to thank you, and even here, economy. Yeah. But we want to know what thank you goodness. thought. But well, my name is Dave Wapple, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And Denmark, Turkey, Ben, search me still some. Turkey, they search you, yeah. Turkey, search you, Jane. Turkey, T-shirts, Lara, Nacho. Turkey, they that would just, yeah. Yes, I'm not sure. Ve kultur, gerçekten çok zengin bir kultur var. Yani yemekler, yani siz de bakın ya, müzikler, yeah. yani her şey var orada. O yüzden tabii ki Türkiye'yi seçeceğim ben. <gülüyor> Neyse arkadaşlar, e, videonun sonuna geldik. <gülüyor> Ve lütfen abone ol ve paylaş bir Instagram'da takip edebilirsiniz. Yorum yazabilirsiniz. Ve bir dahaki sefere görüşene kadar. Barış. Barış.